Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Gleason Performing Arts Center at Florida Institute of Technology. I want to thank you all for coming out. We have a, a, a full house tonight and a, and a packed schedule, so we want to go ahead and get things moving. Um, you know, the Florida Tech Indian River Lagoon Research Institute is proud to host this Lagoon Forum entitled Straight Talk tonight with our co-host of the Bar Indian River Lagoon Coalition. Over the years, Florida Tech has, has demonstrated a long-term commitment to research and restoration. And after years of studying the Indian River Lagoon, along with many other organizations and agencies and institutes, we have a solid base of scientific data on which to build a plan for restoration. And to continue to build support for the for that plan, we need to communicate uh, the reasoning behind the plan. We need to communicate, you know, what's going on, and make sure that the community is well um, is well informed. And that really means communicating the science. And I think we all know that that, that that's a that's a very difficult task uh, to take. Uh, over the past two years, we've worked with a uh, partnership with the Brevard Indian River Lagoon Coalition. Uh, actually, it's been more than two years now where we've been hosting these lagoon forums. And um, we really are dedicated to providing that essential information about the lagoon itself, about uh, the Save Our Lagoon plan, and the science that guides the plan. Uh, my colleagues and I are out in the community. We're giving talks at, at different, different groups and different agencies and different meetings and different forums. And the topic of the lagoon and what's being done to fix the lagoon inevitably come up. And we find ourselves fielding a lot of, a lot of questions uh, from, from folks. And often the questions that, that were being asked are based on, on uh, you know, uh, something that someone heard in a meeting or something that they heard from some friend. And so um, you know, what, what we want to do is really give a chance to pose those questions to the experts that have been working on the science and working on the policy um, so we can kind of as best as we can have the opportunity to level that misinformation. And so that's what straight talk is all about. We want to get to the causes of the problems. We want to talk about what we know. We want to talk about what we don't know. We want to talk about what we can do and what we are doing to address those problems, as well as what, you know, what may be into the future, right? What we may be not be able to, to do now, but, but into the future. And so, you know, everyone involved wants the same thing. We all want a healthy lagoon. We all want improved coastal water quality. And, uh, and everything that's being done and is being planned is done with that, that goal in mind. Uh, but we are very excited tonight. We have a special guest MC for the forum tonight. It's Commissioner Brian Lower of uh, District 2. He's also our representative on the IRL Council. And so uh, we really want to get, uh, uh, get things moving, and so I want to go ahead and introduce right now uh, Commissioner Logan. Uh, that's a pretty crowded uh, room here. I was told to be brief, so I'm going to do the, the best I can. Uh, I, I originally thought that this was going to be an, an open mic joke night. I was told that was not why I'm here. Uh, the short of it is, uh, I, I want you all to know that your county commissioners, all of them are accessible to you. If there is some concern that you have, the only way that we're going to know about it is if you all reach out to us, whether it's by phone or by email. Uh, if you have a concern, rather than guessing as to what a position might be or assuming based on something that someone heard from someone else, reach out to us. If you want to know why either myself or any of my colleagues uh, are pursuing a particular course of action, I don't think anyone is, is trying to hide the ball. As was just said, everyone wants the same thing in, in this audience and also on the commission. We all want to do what's best for the lagoon. And to that end, if you all have information or suggestions whether you have a PhD, whether uh, you saw an interesting documentary, whatever the case may be, you may have information that we haven't considered. Um, my thought and what I've been trying to do over the past several months in particular um, is to expose myself to as many different ideas and as many different experts as I possibly can. The reason being is we don't know what we don't know. And if we don't give folks the opportunity to make their case and present the information that they have, we're going to be left making assumptions that aren't based in fact. Um, so again, I, I would just kind of, to bring it back home, I would encourage you, if you have any questions for the, the commissioners or any, any questions of your elected officials, 
there's a reason that you all elected us. It's, it's not that there's an artificial barrier that's put in place after an election. I'm accessible. I'll meet with anyone. I have yet to say no to, to sitting down with anyone. I can't promise I'll agree with, with all of, of necessarily what it is that, um, that you may propose, but I, I promise you I'll give you an opportunity to at least make your case, and if there's something that I haven't considered, um, I'll certainly be happy to consider it, but otherwise, I said I'd be brief, so I'm gonna cut it at that. I appreciate uh, the event sponsors inviting me out to MC this tonight. It, it should be a fun event, uh, a little different from anything I've MC'd in the past, so I, I look forward to it. Thank you all.